Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to make hydrochloric acid the second way. So it will be not be the sulfuric acid and salt method. So the method we'll be using today is the sodium bisulfate and sodium chloride. So the chemicals we'll be needing is, of course, sodium bisulfate and sodium chloride. So you'll be needing 70 grams of sodium bisulfate and 30 grams of sodium chloride. So we'll have to turn on your heating on high and mix the chemicals together. So that's what I'll be doing right now. This will generate hydrochlor I mean hydrogen chloride gas. So you know the hydrochloric is corrosive, so the gas will also be corrosive. So just stomp it off and mix it. So just leave it like this, and open this, and get 25 milliliters of ice cold water, as seen right here. And you'll be needing a this, um, I don't know what it's called, but something that looks like this. So you get this, and make it go like this. So to lower the temperature, add some water in this vessel that will generate hydrogen chloride gas so just wet it on top okay so that's about enough and put the stopper there so just wait until well I'll be waiting of course until you see it starts bubbling so I'll show you when it's starting to bubble so it started bubbling as you can see right there and just keep one thing in mind um it will be randomly just reflux reflux means that all the water here will get all inside here and you the hydrochloric acid will get messed up and not be pure enough so right here it's supposed to be very pure hydrochloric acid without only any contaminants so just keep that in mind that it may reflux so it's bubbling. So I'll show you when I'm halfway done. So as you can see, it's bubbling a lot now. Let me just take off the water here. It's bubbling a lot, and look, it's boiling inside. So I'll show you when I'm fully complete with the hydrogen chloride going to the to the water to make hydrochloric acid. So I'll show you when I'm. So now it's bubbling like crazy, and I hope we're seeing a lot of bubbles. So it's almost finished. So yeah, it's almost finished. So I'll show you when I'm fully complete, 100%. So I'm done already. So the next thing is to turn off the heater. And when you see it start reflexing, take this off or that off. Yeah, it's better you do this one off. So yeah, so be aware that it's going to reflex. So I'll show you when. It stopped reflexing, and I have this out of everything right here. So, yeah. so now I'm finished, and you can see I emptied out everything. Here's a product. Wow. <laughs> Whatever, at least it didn't broke. Um, so this is the finished product. And you can see that in volume, it went to about 35 or 38. Yeah, around there. So to test for it, you need... PH paper. So if it turns red, that means it's an acid. So first, check neutral water. And as you can see, it doesn't have a major color change. So if we try with the acid that I made right there, the hydrochloric acid, it should change color. You see? It changed to a red color, meaning it's hydrochloric acid. So the next step is, well I'm going to take my gloves off, because I'm not dealing with the gas no more, it's only an acid, and put it in this container. So 
So this acid is way, way stronger than the sulfuric acid and sodium chloride method. And it's also way more pure. Okay. And this acid does have a strong smell of hydrogen chloride gas. So, this is it. This is a hydrochloric acid made by sodium bisulfate and sodium chloride method. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.